Hello balcony, welcome. Hello, hello everyone, welcome. My name is Kate, and if you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I'd love to thank everyone who reached out to me. I didn't mean to go silent or rogue or anything. I am still in Corporateville, and I had a humongous project due, and so I appreciate everyone reaching out. That was really nice. I, I didn't even realize how nice everyone was. So thank you. And thank you for everyone who came back. Thank you for all the members. I hope when you're seeing this, there's a scrolling list of everyone so that you can see a shout out. I, um, okay, I've, this is the, these are the updates that I have in regards to Idaho 4, season two. And I want to thank everyone who has been answering the rookies. I really appreciate it. I have not been looking at the comments. I know. I know. And so I will get back on it. I have a lot going on and I can't wait to tell you guys once it's like out in the public, I will certainly tell you all about it. It's exciting. It's good news. So I, um, that's been going on. And tonight, I'm on a timeline or a time frame. I have to go to dinner, but what I wanted to do was I'm already feeling short of breath. So that's a good start. Um, I've already called in the quarters, asked for protection. Um, don't forget to put the white light on from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet before bed. And you can do it right now. Called in the quarters. And I've asked Ethan, we got to go ahead on what I want to Okay. First thing is, I've started doing research on the financials. I'd like to also thank Luna Noir. Noir. Uh, how do you say that in French? New, Luna Noir, right? Um, she is on TikTok as Sherlocking Myself42. And she's also on YouTube as Justice underscore Serum. I love her content. She's the one that um, drip drop stole all of her information and didn't give her credit. So of course, <laughs> little Miss Loyal has to follow her. But anyway, she, it was her idea or she wanted to look into the connection between Scott Green and Eric Thor Olson. I did see the comment that another reader had a dream or an intuitive hit that um, a guy named Thor was involved. We got that reading number two. There's, that's, that's not even where we're going tonight though. Tonight, oh, and I saw that comment about, I don't know if it was BK squared or BK, but there was a comment about his great, great grandfather. I'm like short of breath already. Great. Um, he is, was the president at U of I, oh, I saw a comment that said like, oh, get the university straight. I wanted to be like, thanks, got it. Do you want to see the 17 pages of notes? They're not pages as much. Um, it's in a computer. Well, obviously, I, not obviously, but I put it on a computer with a timeline. And I'm only running the timeline from July 1st, 2019, when he was randomly with no qualifications or background in higher education, um, unanimously voted in. There's so many, I can see why you got a subpoena. And I think that the DA, or you guys call them, yeah, district attorneys, um, he's got a subpoena because he had a closed door meeting. From what I'm looking at, I've looked at the Federal Stock Exchange. Everyone's welcome to do it. It's the um, FTC. Federal Trade Commission, sorry, federal the FTC for the nonprofits, so I can get all of their financials, including this, the Ethan Chapin one, which doesn't have it yet. 
I that it's a law in this country, we're in the United States, that nonprofits have to print their financials. Well, who hasn't printed them? Sigma Chi, if someone has them, please send them over. Sigma Chi, didn't see it. The Ethan Cheapin Foundation, didn't see it. The FTC doesn't have it. The FTC does have the acquisition, not for Idaho, but for um, the University of Arizona. What is it? Phoenix University or whatever that online school is that they acquired right around when all this went down. And this is a lot of, you know, when the articles, when it says a source close to says la la la, there's a lot of that. Like most of the stuff that I've been finding is only by Scott Green um, says X, Y, and Z. Like, the independent auditor, that's another thing I'm looking into. So there are three, I'll explain this. I'll do a, no, a video for those who care about the details of this. Not right now. But what I do want to explain is the independent auditor didn't audit two of the main funds, like the trusts that hold the university's money um, because he didn't need to or something. So that's something I'm looking at. And if anyone's already done all this research or if you know where I can find it, I've looked in the regular places, Reddit's usually where I go for this kind of stuff. But if you have it, please send it over and I'll share my stuff with you too because I've been also collecting clips whether it's on the news or the internet about things that are going on that just aren't above board. And it seems like out of context, it's still, it's like when Sharon Archer died and she was one woman who died in a really weird way. But then we found like two or three more women over 60 that died in very mysterious circumstances. So when you put it all together, it creates a story. So that's the update on the financials. Like I said, if anyone's already done it or actually likes to do this stuff and can lay it out in a way I understand, I would love it. Please and thank you. Uh, Swifties, um, <laughs> that's another thing. I did see a couple of other, I think I just saw more, um, a couple of other readings that I'd like to do. One of them is the three kids, the Kansas City kids. That's sketch. And he had the same excuse that D-Bag did, that he slept for three day, two days, which is fine. I mean, that's that. So those are the updates on the financials. Um, there's nothing really to update. I haven't gotten to the point. It, I'm just inputting it into a spreadsheet so I can create a timeline. The timeline... Well, it's just a mess, as usual. We know this. So what do I want to do tonight? Okay, so that was an eight-minute intro. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for reaching out. All of your love, support, kind messages. Thanks for noticing I was MIA. I got the project done now, and I can't wait to show it to you guys. Um, and I appreciated it very much. I didn't realize. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. And for everyone here, welcome. This is all my opinion. And I'd love to hear educated opinions in the comments. I, I rarely read them. I have been trying, well, now that I'm back, making this a priority. It was always a priority until a, I had um, something that was paying the bills with a time frame or a um, deadline came up. So that being said. If you're new, welcome. If you're new and you have anything that's not something that you would like printed in the paper, please hold your opinion. I don't care, <laughs> honestly. So anyway, back to us. 
I have dinner to go to. That was a nine minute intro. I'm glad you're here. We should do a live. I'll just do one. It'll probably be very random. I am, I don't have a night I can commit to yet. So I have the cards here and what I want to do is let's just do a general, see where it takes us. I also have all of the notes from Idaho Reading 1, so if I have to refer to anything, they're right here. I started Idaho 2, and this is kind of the visual. You got. You don't have to be able to read it because you're going to see it. I'll put it up, but, well, we'll figure that out too. But the point is, is it's like the University of Idaho timeline, the financial timeline. Um, so that's season two. Tonight, we are going, I'd like to thank everyone again, to jump into the connection between, well, what I want to know is the connection between the Empress, or Emperor, and Scott Green. What's their connection? And I'm sorry again, I'm not that sorry about the nicknames. I don't want to get jammed up because that's not my deal. I literally could, don't want to get in trouble. Like, I just don't want to get in any readers. Um, so you'll, I do appreciate everyone answering in the comments. I noticed that the other day, so I appreciate that. And I'll get back on to reading. I used to read every single comment. I loved it. So I'll get back into that. I also, if you don't know who the emperor is, I've said this before, please go back to reading number one, season one, reading one, and you'll figure it all out. It's laid out as we figured it out. So with that being said, I'm shuffling. I got a new deck. I don't know if I showed it to you guys. If you're in the bleachers, welcome. I hope you can see everything okay. I um, don't have a standard number of cards that I pull. I just pull until it feels right intuitively. So right now, why don't we just get a general reading on the relationship between Scott Green and the Emperor? Just see what that is. Well, big surprise, right off the rip. Well, we have the High Priestess. I hope you guys could see this. Next card, Lovers. Oh, Ethan's here. Next card, The Fool. Next card, The Hierophant. Well, okay. Oh, whoa, I just got the chills. I'm gonna have some water. Holy cow, that was a strong start. All right, all right. <laughs> that was intense. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm sweating or if I'm freezing right now. I turned the heat off so that I could, because um, I was getting too hot during these, but now I don't know if I'm too hot or too cold. So. Remember that time that I asked, if you can see these, um, if our emperor, emperor, the emperor is a feminine in this context. In general, it's not, obviously, and it's actually not, obviously. I always thought of the emperor and the hierophant as entities, not an entity. So what I've learned, and I've been throwing cards for a few days, if you know what I mean, this isn't my first rodeo. Um, is that there is no, I know this and everyone, well, if you don't intuitively know that there is no sex on the other side. So our masculine and feminine is fine. Like we're in a matrix. We have to have the meat suit. They don't have it on the other side. That being said, the emperor is a female, one woman. She's in charge of this entire conundrum that they've all got themselves into and but there's a d-bag 
again, we're using the same nicknames that we had last season. You're in season two now. So D-Bag also played a role that was uh, a leadership role, like the Empress or Emperor. Well, one time I saw that she perhaps was hooking up with the help. And then she traded spots with the Emperor, who was the hidden, who was like an onion. We unlit, we got the onion unraveled. So one of the things that I saw was that she knew where, who the emperor was, what he was doing, and they might've been hooking up. D-Bag and the emperor have, they didn't play intermingle, like they didn't go back and forth, except now that I've been watching season one again. Those wands, speaking of wands, that's the next card. Our emperor, Oh, pentacle shocker. Our emperor is a wand. She's a fire sign. She is the kingpin of this situation. All of the little minions go below her. In this context, this is all for season one and now season two. The Hierophant has always been the U.S. government. The good guys, this is the light, thank God. And the emperor has always been the dark side. And I'm just calling it dark and light. I don't care what your beliefs are. I could care less. In this context, Ethan always always shows us like the sun. This little fool has the sun. So that's light. So as I'm watching season one again, I was getting clips just so that we could all get on the same page. It's been a while. I didn't have an okay until Luna, shout out. She sent me an inbox on TikTok, which I didn't think was going to be a big deal, but I got the okay, which I should have known. And yeah, that was where we're going with season two. So the point of this entire thing is the Emperor and D-Bag, who's usually shown up as like Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, mostly Queen of Swords. I saw something that she could perhaps be sleeping around. Again, I don't really care what you do. Um, we did also see, what is that? When you sell feet pics, I'll think of it in two seconds. Anyway, I had to explain what that looks like on the cards. What we have here, back to this. Well, we have the High Priestess. The High Priestess is your ride or die. You want her by your side. I did nickname her the BJ Queen one time because it was in the uh, Shanann Watts, in the Watts case, Nicole Kessinger always showed up as her, so she was a nefarious. Her intentions were not pure, put it that way. We're just going by archetypes here, no people. Just the same people happen to show up for the same archetypes. So anyway, the BJ Queen, she's your ride or die. Actually, I should see, I'm pretty sure this showed up as um, when we figured out that D-Bag was working for both sides of the fence. So anyway, we have one of them right here. Then we have the lovers. The question was, just a quick reminder, what is the connection between the Emperor and Scott Green? And look what we got. We also got that she... Hooked up with a hunter, not her son, obviously. So the question was, what's their connection? Second card, lovers. First card, I don't know what to think about this yet. I love getting this in a regular reading. Oh, and to everyone that asked for, or kept getting their readings or asked for readings, or I saw a comment that someone got a reading and I didn't send them anything. I, I just, I double checked again and I didn't see it. So if you can just shoot me an email or another comment, um, I'd I'll, of course I'll do it tonight. When I see this in real life, it's awesome. It's your ride or die. It's your intuition. You're listening to your heart or your stomach or your gut, wherever. In this context, I'm going to say that we tapped into the emperor 
the connection to Scott Green is crystal clear. Oh, uh, Ethan's here. The fool. He's our little fool. He was running in, starting his life. We have the higher fan for this. I've never loved the US government as much as I have in this case. And we have the two of wands. Two of wands. Wands are the fire sign. Wands are also um, the spark. This guy looks like he's pondering. Um, so we've got an answer to that. All right, so that's their connection. Pentacles was their connection. <laughs> I don't even, I'm like still, if I have goosebumps right now, and I don't, I don't know, and my hands are getting cold. Thank you to the person who is worried about my hands. I appreciate that. All right, next. I guess, like, what do we need to know about it? We just answered our question. I'm going to write it down so that I don't forget. Scott Green and the Emperor. You don't say. <laughs> Lovers. I mean, it couldn't have been any clearer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so glad. <gasps> All right, so we don't need any clarification. Let's ask another question. E Doug's here. He's ready to chat. Oh, and I did find both the angel cards or readings that he, I should find it again, um, gave us a snake because he shed his skin. So the next question we want to know, <laughs> what, what do we want to know? What do we possibly want to know? We just like solve the whole thing. Well, um... I mean, I don't, I honestly don't even know what to ask. Does she know, does the emperor know that the US government's on to her? <laughs> Queen of Cups. Six of Wands, Knight of Cups. Oh, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, the Empress. Oh, Three of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Pentacles. Wow. Hmm. Oh, gee. Hmm. 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 The world. Here's Ethan. We love our little friend. He always... Oh, and this? If you're up there, this will make a lot more sense. The, if you're down here, I'll show them to you. This has always been the triplets. And... To all the people who don't watch any of it and have comments like the triplets would never do that. Okay, that's fine. That's your opinion. I can just tell you right now that I'm a medium and I can talk to the other side and I can tell you right now that the triplets were 100% involved. Their hands are dirty. This is the world. This is a completion. This is an ending. This is Ethan. He always comes very consistently and he is here. That's a good news. The question that I had was, does the Empress know that I, oh, I have a cheat sheet that I, I change it once in a while, but I think I gave it to you guys. It's, um, these are the major arcanas and these are the suits. And I just saw it. And if you're up there, you can see it. Um, the question that I asked was, does the emperor know that the Hierophant is on to them? Which I'm going to say was pretty clear in that last reading. We got Ethan, the lovers, Scott Green and the emperor and the U.S. government. <laughs> um, so what we have here, Queen of Cups. You know what queen's not here? Well, we have a ton of pentacles. Um, we have two knights. Knight of cups and knight of pentacles. That's front row. We have the six of wands. That's D-Bag and her first boyfriend. They needed outside validation. They had to have like um, 
They had some mommy and daddy issues, both of them. And they needed outside validation. We have the Empress. Oh gosh, is someone pregnant? That is birthing something new. I don't really want to know if anyone's pregnant. I don't really care. This is the formerly known as the hot cowboy. She's a hard worker. It's the only thing that makes him happy. We got other cards that death on the cards does not mean death. Death means an end. There's a combination of cards that does mean death. And he got them the last time. That would be like a huge red flag. That's a suicide talk. Like shit just got really real. He got that last time. This card represents formerly known as the hot cowboy. The seven of pentacles, seven of pentacles. Well, that's money contract. Anything with pentacles is money. It's an earth sign. You know, who's an earth sign hunter. That's not hunter Chapin. The other hunter, he's an earth sign. Oh no. We have the pregnancy card and um, pentacles. So this is usually means the pregnancy to me. Cups are emotions. Trust me, the ice queen and the empress, they don't get that very often. This is not her. This could be his dad. His dad is the victim in this. I mean, well, obviously Ethan is too, but for the human side of it, it's it could be his dad. His dad's, I don't know what his dad's sign is. If it's a water sign, this is also like a gentle queen. She's not, well, a sword can either slice you or open an envelope. It's duality. This is just gentle, kind. It can be an addiction. Cups can be an addiction. This guy, oh, this is just like investing. Oh man. Well, we have these pentacles. Shock. This is all comes down to money, selfish, greed, money, you name it. This could also be um just the name of that app. It's not an app. You put your feet pics on it. OnlyFans. This could also be the OnlyFans. Uh, here's, oh, well, here's actually only fans right here. This is the D card. If you have something else that's witty and fun, that's unique, let me know. So we have two new beginnings here. We have two aces. This is like, I mean, these people lost their humanity a long time ago. So I don't know, but here's the queen of wands. This could be the empress again. Could be the micromanager. She, d -bag loves, she comes every night when we're doing readings on this, just to sometimes remind us that she's micromanaging. She was a micromanager. And if someone knows her and thinks that she's not a micromanager, okay, she's probably very organized, efficient, whatever. Not really getting any patterns yet. We have two queens, two knights, two aces. We have five of cups. This is like a grief card. And it can be an addiction. Cups are spilled. I didn't shuffle these so they'd come out in reverse. The last two times I've read with them, it didn't feel right to read them in reverse. So they're shuffled to always be upright. But I mean, this looks like grief or mourning. This could be his dad, actually. I'm going to put this card with his dad. I'm going to call him the Queen of Cups for right now. 
This is new contracts. The Ace of Wands is the D card. Could be OnlyFans. The Empress could be OnlyFans. Those are big words, and I'm not sure if I'm ready to say that yet. I'm just looking for some patterns or some, you know. What was the question that we asked? Um, oh, does she know if the U.S. government's on tour? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I'm looking way too far into these. Ace, ace. Queen of Wands. <laughs> Ethan's here. Mm -hmm. Poor Ethan sat, he's missing his leg. Uh, conflict. Oh, here's the death card. So we have a five wands conflict battle. We have the six of wands outside validation, we have death, which in regular readings doesn't mean death. In these readings, it means straight up death. And the page of pentacles, pages are our runners. <laughs> Her life is a train wreck. Oh, and here's really, here's Ethan. I moved the brief card if you're up there. Here's our buddy. Hmm. What are you showing me, Ethan? Hmm. Nothing's changed in that time, I can tell you that right now. She could be pot. Dude, this woman needs to cut the shit with her legs. She gets this, we've gotten this card twice in a row and we never asked about her husband. That gives you an idea. Hmm. Oh, good, here's the US government, yeah. I don't know if she, oh, and the high priestess. And the king of cups, justice. Oh my goodness, so many wands. I don't know if she knows, I don't know. I can't, I don't wanna say that she knows. Um, but I bet she does. Nothing's changed in the town. The town's still the exact same train wreck that it was before. With all due respect, it's probably a great town, but it's run by criminals. And I can say that right now because the president of the university got a subpoena because he was not doing anything above board. This is the Eight of Swords. There's two ways that you can read about this. Read this. Season one, um, so one time I was doing a reading and to me, there was a domestic violence situation going on, okay? So whenever I see the hanged man or someone who's being held against their will, that's the first thing I think of. Famous Fortunes sees this as a spell I'm not feeling any witchcraft. A prayer, I mean, you're saying spells when you speak. That's why it's called spelling, spells. That's another thing. I've been, I will tell you guys in a little while. But the point is that she may be trying to bind. This could be a binding spell. If you haven't done any of the research, then hold your opinion. She hasn't changed anything. She's still spying. She's still being a sketchball. Um, I don't know if she, oh, here's the party where Ethan Someone asked me if he was dismembered. What I saw was so horrific that that could have been one of the things. It was, I, th I thought I was going to throw up and someone noticed that in a, in a comment. It was horrifying. 
This is the party. Next to the High Priestess, next to the Hierophant, the King of Cups. I wonder if this AG who's pressing charges or subpoenaed the um, president is a water sign. I don't even know his name. I did read it out loud though. It would make sense if he was a water sign because we're getting a lot, or if Ethan's dad's a water sign. If anyone knows any of those birthdays, so it's the DA or yeah, I guess it's district attorney that subpoenaed Scott Green. When's his birthday? And Ethan's dad's birthday. If he's a water sign, either one of those men are water signs, this will make sense. Um, if they're not, then there's something else these cups are trying to say. And if someone intuitively is picking it up, let me know. Um, so this is, actually, I'm gonna take this out because this is Ethan just reminding me, Ethan's here and he shows us the same cards. This right here, justice. Behind the Hierophant, U.S. government. This could be her, the Empress, or Emperor, or whatever. I, intuitively, she knows. Subconsciously, she's still doing the same crap. We still are running money. We still have our pages telling us what's going on. U.S. government was going to cut them off. And I'm not sure if they have or not, because our Knight of Swords... Oh my goodness. It's smoke and mirrors still. Okay. Does she know? Intuitively, she knows that the U.S. government's on to her. I don't know. Well, her behavior hasn't changed. Nothing has changed for her. Everything still looks the exact same. I want to ask if she's going to try to run because we've gotten some travel cards. <laughs> gonna pull a Donna Adelson, Donna Adelson on us, show up at the airport. I'm guessing that the FBI or whoever it is already has everything tapped. And that's fine, that's good, that's what they do. Um, I'm gonna ask if she's gonna run. I'm gonna get going. This is already 36 minutes long and we and Ethan nailed it right off the rip. So I'm gonna ask one more thing if she's planning on running and then call it a night. I'm gonna run to dinner, go to dinner now. And then I will catch back up with you guys. I'm just gonna ask one quick question if she's planning on running. <laughs> I hope, I saw something the other day that um, Corey Richens is like Googling her Google. Man, it's like they don't even, these criminals don't even watch true crime. Um, her Google was pretty telling. I am guessing that I'm just going to ask if this mom or this emperor is planning on bouncing, pulling a Don Adelson and going to Vietnam. Oh, we just got two jumpers. Strengthen the chariot. Yep. She's out here. Chariot is a movement card. See ya. If I was the FBI, I am sure they have a high, high, I, I mean, I, I'm pulling a few tarot cards and I'm getting all of this. Yeah, she's planning something. She's out of here. So I'd keep an eye on her. Strength. Ethan used to show us this because he was overpowered. This is also, she could be flexing. Chariot in classic tarot is a stationary card. But uh, you can use deductive reasoning to see that it's, you take the chariot, now it's planes, trains, automobiles to leave. She's out of here. If anyone sees anything that she, she would be really dumb to do that right now. <laughs> what a dummy. Well, no one ever said she was that smart or a good mother, but on that note, I will love you and leave you. Thank you all so much for coming. Thank you again so much for reaching out. Your love, kindness, everything was great. And answering the rookies, I appreciate that very much. So in conclusion tonight, right off the rip, first question. What is the connection between the Emperor and Scott Green? Lover's card showed up. Second card, first card was the Hierophant. I'm sorry, the, the first card was uh, the High Priestess, Intuition. 
Ethan was also here. The second poll was, does she know that the U.S. government is on to her? Intuitively, she does. Nothing on the outside has changed. She's still running everything the same way she was before. She still has her little pages, money's running. Homework for you guys or myself. Birthday of Ethan's dad and the DA that subpoenaed Scott Green. If they're water signs, all the cups we saw will make sense. If they're not, then we'll figure that out. Third poll was, is the emperor planning on leaving? Chariot, second card, first card, strength. Yeah. I don't know where she's going. I don't know what she's planning on doing. I have a lot of comments that I'd love to make about it, but... Okay, so I'll come to your own conclusions after you do the research and watch season one. For the regulars and everyone else who's new here, I love you. Thank you so much for coming. In conclusion... The emperor's sleeping with the prez. The U.S. government showed up every single poll. She's planning on leaving, and intuitively she knows they're on her. <laughs> I mean, if a girl in tarot cards can tell, then I'm pretty sure the U.S. government's miles ahead of me. So, again, I love you and leave you, and I'll see you next time. Good night. Good night, balcony.